properties of regression line. So what are the different properties of regression line? So let me just remind you that we have done till this particular point where we have already derived uh, what is beta one hat and beta two hat. So beta one hat is uh, y bar minus beta two hat x bar. We have done this in the last recording. And uh, beta two hat is summation of small xi yi upon summation of small xi square. Small xi is deviations of x from the mean of x. Small yi is deviation of y from mean of y, right? So the first point is uh, simple enough that uh, it passes this regression line. It passes through the sample means of x and y. Sample means of x and y. And how do you know this? You know this because you've already derived this, no? Beta 1 hat is equal to y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. So it is passing through y bar and it is passing through x bar, right? So that is the first property. What about the second property? Well, you know this. I mean, what uh, we need to prove is that uh, uh, the mean of the estimated y is equal to the mean of the actual y. Mean of the estimated y is equal to the mean of the actual y. Well, what you know is that what y i hat is beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i. But what beta 1 hat is y bar minus beta 2 hat x bar. Plus beta 2 hat x i. So y i hat minus y bar equals to uh, equals to beta 2 hat x i minus x bar. Like this, you can write this. In fact, let me just write it this way only. y i hat equals to y bar plus uh, beta 2 hat x i minus x bar. So I can just sum this also. Summation of y i hat. This is n y bar. Beta 2 hat being a constant will come out of the summation sign. This is equal to 0. Sum of deviations from mean, that is equal to 0. Sum of deviations from mean is equal to 0. Well, if you know this, you know this, that summation of why we are saying like this. So just open this up, summation of xi minus n x bar. But what is what is x bar? Summation of xi upon n. So what is summation of xi? n x bar. No? This will get cancelled. This is equal to 0. So what do you have here? Summation of y i hat equals to n y bar. You can take this n on this side and what you get is y i hat bar is equal to y bar. Summation of y i hat upon n is what? y i hat bar. Huh? So the mean of the estimated y is equal to the mean of the actual y. Hmm? Mean of the estimated y is equal to the mean of the actual y. Then you have the mean value of the residuals The mean value of the residuals ui hat is equal to zero. So if you remember 
from uh, your normal equations, right? From your normal equations, uh, that is this normal equation. What was this? Summation of yi hat minus beta 1 hat minus beta 2 hat xi. What is this guy? yi hat. So what is this summation of yi minus yi hat is equal to 0. Yeah, yeah, no? From the first normal equation, what do you have? You have this. From the first normal equation, you have what? Summation of yi minus y i hat is equal to 0. But what is this y i minus y i hat? This thing is equal to 0. Uh, so if you have summation of u i hat is equal to 0, what is summation of u i hat upon n? That is also equal to 0. That is also equal to 0. Just divide both the sides by n. You will be getting this guy. Uh, simple. Then you have Guys, you have y i equals to y i hat plus u i hat. You have this. Okay. What is y i hat? Beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i plus u i hat. You had this. Okay. I can sum this. So it is summation of y i equals to n beta 1 hat. You know now why we are writing because summation of beta 1 hat karoge, that's a constant. That will be n beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat summation of xi plus summation of ui hat. Now that is equal to 0. You have just seen in property 3. Okay. What I can do? I can uh, divide both the sides by n. So it becomes what? Summation of y i upon n equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat summation of x i upon n. So what is this? y bar equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x bar. Right? Okay. Now, if you remember, you had this as the original equation y i equals to beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i plus u i hat. And this is the mean. Right? So you can say this is a, this is b. So you can subtract b from a. So y i minus y bar beta 2 hat x i minus x bar plus u i hat. You have like this. Now what is y i minus y bar? It is the deviation from mean. So what is that? Small y i. What is x i minus x bar? Small x i plus u i hat. So, ye cheez kya hai beta? Jase beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat xi was what? Capital yi hat. What is beta 2 hat? Small xi. It is small yi. Huh? So, this thing is small yi hat. Beta 2 hat summation of, uh, sorry, beta 2 hat small xi. Ye dhyan, dhyan rakhenge, beta. You have to remember this because we'll be using this in the later proofs. Okay. Then you have the residuals ui hat are uncorrelated with
प्रिडिक्टेड बाय आई विद प्रिडिक्टेड बाय आई अब देखो यू हैव स्मॉल वाई आई हैट एस बीटा टू हैट स्मॉल एक्स आई आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई बोथ द साइड्स बाय यू आई हैट so it doesn't change anything i can write acha yi equals to isko aap kaise likh sakte ho yi small yi hat plus ui hat small yi equals to small yi hat plus ui hat you can write like that so what is ui hat equal to right so you have beta 2 hat xi what is ui hat equals to yi minus beta 2 hat xi i can write like this okay so what is this beta 2 hat small xi small yi minus beta 2 hat square small xi square now i'll sum both the sides अच्छा एक बात बताओ यू नो ना दैट बीटा टू हैट इज वॉट समेन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्साइज स्मॉल वाई आई अपॉन समेन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्साइज स्क्वायर सो वॉट इज समेन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्साइज स्मॉल वाई आई इक्वल्स टू बीटा टू हैट समेन ऑफ स्मॉल एक्साइज स्क्वायर यही था ना बेटा so in place of summation of small x i small y i what can you write right that is equal to 0 so what do you have got you have got summation of small y i hat small u i hat equals to 0 now we are saying that the moment you have proved this it means that u i hat is uncorrelated with y i hat <clears throat> now some of you might ask bhai aap aisa kyun keh rahe ho because if you write the correlation coefficient formula this is the correlation coefficient formula. Why I have square, right? So, जब तुमने if you have proved that the numerator is zero, then naturally R is also zero, right? And the last point is, the residuals. U I hat. are uncorrelated the residuals you i hat are uncorrelated with x i right with x i huh? so for this you have to go back to the second normal equation you remember this equation here this one let me just copy it down again let's show you here so this is from the second normal equation
from the second normal equation. You remember what is this? Abhi abhi bata, I've, just, I've just told you this. This is ui hat, right? This minus 2 going there, it will become 0. This is ui hat. xi equals to 0. So the moment you were saying that this summation of ui hat xi is 0. So if you write the correlation formula for this, so that is going to be what? Summation of ui hat xi upon root of summation of ui hat square, summation of xi square. So if the numerator is 0, this r is also going to be equal to 0, right? So these are the different properties of the regression line. So it can be, uh, you need to remember this for, for your exam. So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.